Alonso Ellis for the big field goal. And with those two missed fouls, that could do it. They've got to get it up, Tom, because they need two scores now. They need two scores. They just have to shoot the ball. Yeah, there's three of them. To pull off a, a great moment, you have to meet the challenges. They're going to make a run. We have to have someone in this room step up and answer that run. And it can be done. It can be done. Yeah, I mean, it was a big deal from the standpoint of, uh, you know, it's Notre Dame 1 and 2. Um, you know, they were undefeated. I think they were 18 or 19 in the country at the time. Um, you know, so obviously from, from our standpoint, we knew there was going to be a big crowd. And, and, and being able to play them at home, which we hadn't had a chance to do in a while, uh, was something that was going to be really special for us as far as getting that opportunity. The arc was completely packed, people standing on the walkway around, which was exciting and cheering, and, and uh, the, the atmosphere was just electricity. I think the community here was really up for it before the game, obviously during the game, and also after the game, because you had uh, people that knew us and were coming to the game for us, and you also had some Notre Dame fans, you know, from the area coming to see Notre Dame coming in, uh, especially at that time. Um, ranked and undefeated, so they were they were looking forward to that. It's a lot of a lot of positive stuff for us coming in, but you know, a lot of Notre Dame fans as well from this area. I can still picture uh, Mike Jones, Scott Anselm hitting the time basket uh, to put us into overtime. Overtime, overtime. So I just went to the middle again the same way, but I knew from the passing we'd have a little. Not a lot, I mean, it wasn't a lot of time, but you have a little time. It didn't have to go up at half court. I didn't know that from, you know, sit at the free throw line. I looked up at the clock when I got the ball. You know, I saw that I had some time, and that's when I kind of saw Scott, you know, to the left of me in the corner of my eye and knew that I had an opportunity still, you know, to advance the ball. And, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, you know, Scott and I played with each other since high school. We were very familiar with each other as far as we didn't have to say a lot to each other to know where each other was going to be on the floor. And I think that uh, that was one of those situations when I caught the ball and I saw the clock and saw him to my left, I knew we still had time. First of all, to get the rebound. Secondly, with that amount of time left on that clock and not have a player either make a turnover, push the panic button, stop and take a desperation shot from about mid-court, and to have them make a pass, as they did, Ansel did, I believe, over to pass. Jones at that point of the game, because I looked at the clock. I wasn't watching. I was kind of watching the players and looking at the clock at the same time. To have them do that, I take my hat off to them, because you could not have done that. Anybody in the country couldn't have done that any better than they just did. Now we've got the real essence of the game. We're down to five-minute basketball game. Who plays well these five minutes is going to dictate who's going to come out the winner. And so now the biggest thing is to get them off of just tying it with a, a tremendous play, but to now we need to focus on each possession again because five minutes and that five minutes is a short time period. After I made the layup, you know, obviously the emotion of the whole building was to the point where now you really believe that you know, the momentum swung to our side because they had a chance to win it on the free throws. And you know, now that we were able to make that play, you know, you're feeling like this is an opportunity. Now we can take advantage of it in the overtime. I can remember we played very good defense, got the rebound, they missed the shot. We came down and Scott Bloom had the shot. You can still see it right there uh, in front of our bench. Had a good look and looked like it, it was going to go in, but it, it tipped off to the front rim and came off and Jim Ford all of a sudden just came up among all these Notre Dame jerseys, caught it and dunked it through. I mean, it was a beautiful spot. And Jim was, was always one of our best leapers, best jumper, and, and the timing was magnificent for Jim. He caught it and then dunked it through. So now this gives us our first lead, you know, in the overtime. Three-pointer, single to no, rebound Jackson. Two seconds, one second, it's over, it's over. Valparaiso upsets Notre Dame, 71 to 68 in overtime. Oh. Well, when the buzzer sounded, I knew the game was over. I mean, the first was like, 
a little relief. I was a little tired, so it was a little bit of relief. And, and then almost immediately, one of the things I remember is uh, Brett, one of the football players, come up and kind of hit me from behind out on the floor. And I just was trying to make my way to the locker room and running into, you know, guys I went to high school with, some of my friends. Um, and then I ran into my mom. I ran as fast as I could to get out of the crowd and ran into the locker room. And I had, uh, actually, Todd Smith and I were the first ones in the locker room. And then we realized, you know, we kind of looked at each other and was like, you know, what's, you know, <laughs> we're kind of in here by ourselves. And then we ended up going back out there. But uh, my first reaction is kind of, you know, here comes the stampede, kind of get out of the way. I really enjoyed sharing it with the, with the guys that with. Uh, still friends today with a lot of them. I still talk to Mike Jones, Todd Smith, Rob Towery. I still talk to a lot of the guys, and um, that's the biggest memory I have is just being with my teammates. I think it was, uh, you know, just a great kind of fitting into, you know, a, a college career. Really, to share a moment like that with them is still special today.